Hello, hello, namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you all for joining here today in our practice teaching training session. I hope everyone is having a great Tuesday so far. Thanks for showing your faces for those who decided to. It's okay if you do not. Thank you, thank you. But yes, we're just going to hang around for a little bit and see if anyone else joins us here today. Yeah, people are still joining, so we're going to wait a couple more seconds just to see who else joins. And peace and blessings to everyone. And before we get started, I just want to check in with everyone and see if anyone has anything that they would like to share or if anyone will be practicing their teaching training skills with us here today. And if no one does not, that is A-OK. -okay. This is a non-pressure zone. But if anyone would like to practice, that is A-OK -okay as well. Okay. Well, at any time, if anyone has anything to share, please feel free to say, stop, Vanessa. I feel like sharing. I feel like teaching. And I will be happy to give you the floor. Meanwhile, we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. <clears throat> I am going to come into a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help ground and center our mind and our bodies here today, ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight, our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we gaze our eyes down and take a nice, deep breath in, hold the breath. Exhale. As we relax here, hanging out in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, allowing that spinal cord to get nice and elongated here. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is slightly up. Interlacing our fingers together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing those shoulders to flow slightly towards the back. Feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body to center. We're going to breathe our palms slightly apart. And we are in our channeling position here. We are channeling in positivity, hope, and inspiration. We are welcoming in whatever is serving and needed for us in our lives. With our chin slightly up, our eyes gaze down. May we welcome in what is needed for three breaths. Two breaths. Bringing our hands slightly further apart, coming into that seated star. Palms are outward towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Twist the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Relaxing and soothing our spinal cord here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. Relaxing and soothing our spine here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. 
as we flow to that salute. Breathe down to prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward. As we breathe our palms outward towards the side, our palms can be down, our palms can be upward. Whatever feels good for you. As we rotate our arms towards the front, we're gonna do a couple of arm and shoulder rotations here. And we can go nice and big or nice and small. Whatever feels good for you and your body. Spinal core is nice and long, tummy's nice and tight. Three more breaths. Finding our pause as we rotate our arms in the opposite direction. And maybe we can make nice big circles here. Noticing how this feels, you may notice that our arms are getting nice and tired already. We are working on firming the upper parts of our bodies, including our arms. Two more breaths, feeling that burn. Finding our pause as we breathe our palms up to our salute. Exhale the prayer. Lower back up to that salute. Feeling the circular rotations here. Chin is up. Exhale the prayer. Relax in the body. Flowing back up to our salute. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale our palms downward towards our shoulders. Palms are on our shoulders. And we're gonna rotate our shoulders up towards the back. Lifting the shoulders up towards the ears and rotating them towards the back. We're doing our shoulder shrugs here. And what we are doing is we are firming and toning the upper parts of our bodies here. Allowing our bodies to prep for our summer shirts, you know, nice tank tops here. Three more breaths. Feeling that burn. We're going to keep on flowing. Finding that pause as we rotate forward. Tummies are tight, backs are long. And we may be feeling that burn. We are working our bodies. No pain, no gain. Two more breaths. Finding that pause, bringing those palms outward towards the side. Exhale into the salute. Interlacing our fingers together. Point of finger points up towards the heavens. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Allowing those arms to flow towards the back. This is a counter stretch to what we just did. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Breathing down to our prayer. Flowing back to our salute, palms together. As we allow our right palm to come downward towards the earth and we're gonna lean our bodies towards the right. We're gonna come into that seated side bend here. And simply allowing the body to relax, noticing how this feels on the left side of our body here. And maybe we can slightly gaze up at the heavens Opening up their heart chakra just a little more. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, coming into that star. Allowing that left hand to flow downward towards the earth. As our bodies lean towards the left, feeling that side bend, opposite side. Noticing how this feels on the side, the right side of our bodies. Going nice and deep in the stretch here. And if we choose, we can gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Two more breaths. Exhaling back the center. Both of our palms relax on the floor. We're going to breathe that palm downward. Both of our palms are on the earth. Fingertips are connecting to our environment. Tummy's tight, spinal cords nice and long. With our eyes, gaze down, breathe in. Exhale. With our palms connected to the earth, may we take a moment to simply check in with how we feel right here, right now. Simply being aware of our environment and what is going on around us. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may hear sounds, we may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on without judgment, simply being aware. 
Two more breaths. As we flow to our salute, palms above our heads. Exhale to prayer. Flowing our bodies to our tabletop position, coming onto our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart. Tummies are nice and tight here. As we drop down to that cow, feeling this in our lower spine, which is our lumbar spine. Chin is slightly up. Noticing how this feels. We're going to hang out here in this cow pose. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Tummies are nice and tight. Tucking in our tummy at our navel. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Finding our paws at table. As we breathe our right arm upwards towards the air, right fingertips reaches towards the heavens. As we gaze up at our right fingers, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Shoulder blades melts forward. Relaxing the body here. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm in front of our heads, palms flat down on the earth. If that feels good for you, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread our needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to cow, exhale to cat, lowering back to our table as we breathe our left arm up in the air, gazing up at our fingertips, breathe in, exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, shoulder blades melt forward, Eyes are closed or gaze down. And if we choose, we can take that right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back at our table, drop into cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Hanging out here as we shift our weight forward, coming into that high plank. We are building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Hanging on to this pose, we're going to flow down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhaling onto our tummies, coming into a Spanx pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Slightly gazing forward. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Shoulders are relaxed away from our ears, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso. Elbows are slightly bent, lifting our torso slightly away from the earth. We are in that baby cobra. Two breaths. 
Exhale to cobra, straightening out those elbows a little more. Torso is further away from the earth. Cobra pose. Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is slightly up. We are in our up dog. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. We're going to keep on flowing, shifting forward, coming back to that high plank. Tummy's nice and tight. Our bodies are going to get nice and warm here today. Exhaling down to that low plank or that chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Exhale down to our tummies, coming on to our Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are melted away from the ears. We are not shrugged downward. Having control of our bodies, gazing forward, eyes down, breathe in, exhale. Allowing that heartbeat to regulate here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, elbows slightly bent, pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. Baby Cobra. Exhale into Cobra, straightening out those elbows a little more. Exhale into Up Dog, coming off of those thighs. We are in that Up Dog. Thighs are off the earth. Exhale, Down Dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our feet towards our hands, we're going to flow into a complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch, allowing the head to relax down with if you're able. Feeling that stretch here behind the legs and hamstrings. Breathe in. Exhale. As we soothe and relax here, four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale into half, forward fold, slightly gazing forward, noticing how this feels, two breaths. Breathe back down, complete forward fold, relaxing that head down, which feeling that stretch. Three breaths. Mm -hmm. Flow into a half forward fold. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, just a little, creating that space between our feet, we're gonna flow back down to a complete forward fold. Then we're gonna flow into a rag doll, hugging our elbows with our hands, head relaxes down, rag doll pose. <sighs> Breathe in, exhale. Relaxing and soothing that body here in this rag doll. Regulating our heartbeat, feeling this full body stretch. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale into half forward fold. We're gonna yogi walk our feet a little bit more further apart, bringing our feet to the outer parts of our yoga mat, coming nice and wide-legged here. So now we are in a wide-legged half forward fold. As we are slightly gazing forward, we can feel this behind our legs and our hamstrings here. Tummies are tight, hanging out here in this pose, feeling that stretch, two more breaths. Mm. As we bring our hands, right and left hand down to our ankles, Allowing that head to completely relax downward. As we are going deeper into this stretch here, yes, we are stretching and we are relaxing and we are lengthening here in our session here today. Feeling that stretch, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to that half. Half wide leg, it's feeling that stretch, hanging out here, noticing how we feel. We're gonna keep on flowing and moving here. 
If all feels well, we're going to take our left hand, connecting our left hand to our right ankle, feeling this cross body stretch. So left hand to right ankle. We're going to take this right arm and wrap it around our backs the way we do in our thread and needle. And we're going to slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this cross body spinal twist here. Soothing and relaxing, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that half forward fold. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale. And if all feels well, we're going to try it on the opposite side. Taking this right hand to that left ankle, wrapping this left arm around our backs like we do on our thread the needle as we gaze over that left shoulder. Cross body stretch, opposite side. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that half forward fold. Straightening up, we're gonna come into our wide-legged stance. We're gonna throw our arms above our heads, coming into a standing star. Front chakras open, chin is slightly up. Feeling this movement here. Breathe in. Exhale, flowing down to a goddess. Bend the nose, knees, coming down to a goddess stance. We are now working the lower parts of our bodies here. And that goddess, we feel nice and strong and stern, nice and strong and firm. As we breathe our palms above our heads and that goddess salute, noticing how this feels. Exhale to prayer. Going back to our cactus hands, two breaths. Exhale, standing star, straightening out those legs. Palms are off towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up, three breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale back down the goddess stance. God or goddess stance, bending those legs, working the lower parts of our bodies here. We are toning and firming our bodies, allowing ourselves to look good in our jeans. So hanging out here in this goddess pose, we are firming and toning. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Hanging out here, feeling the burn. We're going to pulse it up and down. Lifting those legs up and down just a little, feeling that pulse. Pulse in the body. Coming out whenever you need to if you feel tired. For those who are able, pulse in the body. Just going a little bit more deeper. Two more breaths. <sighs> Finding pause. Exhale, complete forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles, head relaxes downward. Allowing their body to relax and soothe here. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the breath to regulate our heartbeat. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet slightly together. We are in that down dog. Tummies are tight. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our paws, we're gonna come on down to our dolphin. Coming on to our forearms. We are in that dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. Gazing back at our feet. Allowing our head to completely relax. Gazing backwards. This dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Simply hanging out here for a couple more breaths. Relaxing and regulating that heartbeat. Soothing the mind, relaxing the body as we strengthen. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever you choose, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. 
with our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We are in an extended child's pose or puppy pose. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Allow no shoulder blades to melt forward. Feel in the mind and body relax and soothe you. Going inward. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Breathing our palms together, coming into a prayer hands. We are in our child's pose, prayer hands, or puppy pose, prayer hands. Relaxing and soothing here for four more breaths. As we feel the rhythm of our heartbeat, Eyes are closed. Two more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We want to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Doing a couple of spinal waves. Noticing how the spinal wave relaxes and soothes that entire spinal cord. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Finding our pause, coming back to table. Knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Exhale into our three-legged dog, breathing that right leg in the air nice and high. Gazing at that foot. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, tummy crunch. Flowing back to three-legged. Right knee, right elbow, tummy crunch. We also can go knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Exhale, knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. And we're gonna keep on flowing. Yes, we are building strength today. We're gonna bend that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip, hanging out here if we choose, flowing back to our down dog if we want, or we can flow into a wild thing. Completely flowing over, feeling that full body stretch, wild thing. <sighs> building strength in our arms with the deep back bend. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, flow into down dog, gazing at the feet. <sighs> Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna come into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Heart chakra comes downward, third eye chakra comes down. Breathe in, exhale. Shoulder blades melts into the earth, four breaths. Two more breaths. Arms are extended in front of us. Palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of this position, feeling that spinal wave. Two breaths. Finding our paws at table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table, pushing our bodies up to down dog, gazing at our feet. As we breathe to our three-legged dog, left side, left leg goes in the air nice and high, gazing at their foot. 
Exhale, left knee, left elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. We also can go knee to knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to nose, knee to elbow, your choice. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. We're gonna keep on flowing. We're gonna bend that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip, hanging out here, flowing to down dog, or breathing to our wild thing, opposite side, still in that deep stretch. This is a max deep back bend. It's also a full body stretch. Allowing that body to relax and here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our hands towards our feet, complete forward fold, allowing the body to soothe and relax. Heart chakra is connected to our thighs, head is relaxed downward. Breathe in. Exhale. Soothing and relaxing here. This is a full body stretch. This is also a regulating pose. Soothing and relaxing our heart. Maybe do four breaths of silence here. Exhale into half. Going up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are by our side. <sighs> Hanging out here. Noticing how we feel. We are standing strong, tall, as our feet are planted into the earth. Our head, our crown chakra is ascending into the universe. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Tadasana, mountain pose, firm and strong, planted, rooted. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a standing salute, palms are together above our heads. <sighs> Interlacing our fingers with our pointed finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Feeling this light back bend here. Two breaths. Standing back forward, coming back into that salute. Palms are together. And we're going to separate our palms. Now we are in our extended mountain. So the difference between the salute and the extended mountain is in the salute, our palms are together. In the extended mountain, our palms are separated. Two breaths. <sighs> Coming into our salute, standing salute, we're gonna lean our bodies towards the right. Now we're in our standing crescent moon. Feeling this side bend, three breaths. Gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Standing crescent moon, opposite sides. Feeling that side bend. Gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Breathing down to our standing prayer. Palms come at heart center. Relaxing our shoulder blades downward away from our ears, allowing the upper parts of our bodies to relax and smooth here. Palms are at heart center. Gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes. Filling our feet rooted and planted, feeling nice and strong and firm. May we always know who we are and may we always know where we come from. May we always stand nice and firm in our truth. May we always be planted. Even when we ascend and rise and go to new places, when we excel and take our lives to new levels, may we always stand planted and rooted. May we always be humble. 
with our palms and heart center standing and outstanding prayer, may we take five breaths of silent meditation to go in. Three more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Keeping our palms at heart center, maybe slightly hinge at their hips, coming into a prayer hands, half forward fold. Slightly gazing forward, noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, coming into a chair pose. Knees are slightly bent. We can stay in our prayer hands or we can extend our palms in front of us. Whatever feels good for you. Build and strength in lower parts of our bodies. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. Two breaths. Tear pose, twist right side. Twisting that body. Gazing at our fingertips if we choose. Three breaths. Exhale into center. Tear pose, twist. Opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Pray your hands. Two breaths, fill in a burn. Exhale, complete forward fold. Relaxing the head down. Breathe in. Exhale. Full body stretch, relaxing and soothing. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to center, coming into that half forward fold. Breathe back down, complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, bringing our feet towards the back. We are in that down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause as we breathe our right leg up in the air, three-legged dog right side. Gazing back at that foot. Exhale, we're gonna come into a, we're gonna cross that feet in front of us, coming into a pigeon pose. Bringing that right foot forward. <sighs> yes, pigeon pose. So right foot forward, left foot is towards the back. <sighs> this pigeon pose prepares the body for split. Using our hands to lift our torsos away from the earth. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. Noticing how this feels. And if we choose, we can flow down to a sleeping pigeon. Simply just crossing our hands in front of us and relaxing and soothing the body. Relaxing our third eye chakra onto, our, onto the backs of our hands if that feels good. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Maybe hang out here for four more breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Using our hands to push our torsos out of that sleeping pigeon. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, slightly gazing over that left shoulder. And if we choose, we can take this left hand, connecting this left hand to our left thigh, just touching our thigh with our left hand as we are gazing over that shoulder. 
And if this feels good, maybe we can bring our foot upwards towards our hand, connecting our left hand to our left foot. Yes. Now we have our foot and our hand. And noticing how this feels. We also can put that foot inside of our elbow, flowing into that king pigeon or mermaid. Whatever feels good for you. In our king pigeon, our feet are behind our bodies. In our mermaid, our bodies are slightly off towards the side. And we cuff our foot and our elbows. So that's the difference between a mermaid and a king pigeon. Also, we can use our strap. I did grab my strap today. So if we are in our king pigeon, we can put the strap under our foot and have our legs outward towards the side. I'm sorry, towards the back, king pigeon. Or mermaid bodies off towards the side, like our foot is in our elbow. See how the poses look very different, but they have different names and they feel a little bit more different in the body. Or we can just hang out in our regular pigeon with our legs straight to the back. Whatever feels good for you, we can even flow back down to our sleeping pigeon. Your choice, four more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing that foot back down. We are back in our pigeon pose. Slightly gazing over our right shoulder. Exhale back to center. As we flow to our down dog, breathing that right foot back to the back. We are in our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet, ensuring our tummies are nice and tight. Finding that pause. As we three-legged dog left side, breathing that left leg in the air. <sighs> Feeling that stretch. Exhale, pigeon pose opposite side. Left leg crosses in front of the body. Right leg is outward towards the back. Pigeon pose opposite side. Feeling the movement here. Using our palms to push our torso away from the earth. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale down to a sleeping pigeon if we choose. Crossing our palms in front of us, allowing our forehead to relax downward on our palms. Shoulder blades melt forward, eyes are closed or gaze down. Breathe in. Exhale. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Using our palms to push our torso away from the earth. We are awakening from that sleeping pigeon. <sighs> Feeling that back then as we slightly gaze over our left shoulder. Exhaling back to center, gazing over our right shoulder. If all feels well, we can take our right hand and touch our right thigh with our right hand as we're gazing over that right shoulder. If this feels good for us in our body, maybe we can bend our knee, connecting our right foot to our right hand, putting our right foot right here in our hand. Yes, we are in our king pigeon. Or we can bring our legs slightly off towards the side, hooking our foot and our elbow, coming into that mermaid. We can also use our strap to help get us into that position as well. We also can just hang out in our regular pigeon or flow back down into a sleeping pigeon. Whatever feels good for your body right here, right now. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing that right foot. We're back in that pigeon. Both palms are flat on the earth. We are gaze forward as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, 
As we breathe, down dog, bringing that foot towards the back, tummies tight, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog as we are pedaling our feet with our tummies nice and tight. Finding our pause, shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Just for a second, we're gonna twist our bodies to the right or left, coming into that side plank. Breathing one arm up into the air. We are working our obliques here. We are working our arms. We can also extend that arm over our head if we choose. Coming into that side plank stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to our plank pose. <sighs> Catching our breath. If all feels well, side plank, opposite side. Reaching that opposite arm up in the air. Feeling that stretch. Feeling our arms and our bodies get nice and tight here. Working our obliques on the opposite side. <sighs> we can breathe that arm above, above our head if you choose. It's an option. You don't have to. A few more breaths. Hmm. Exhaling back to our high plank. <sighs> Flowing down to our baby, I'm sorry, to our, yes, our chaturanga or our low plank. Hovering over that yoga mat here. <sighs> Exhaling down to our sphinx pose. We are on our tummies. We are back on our forearms. Sphinx pose. Shoulders are melted away from the ears. You'll notice that sometimes clients kind of shrug their shoulders. So reminding them to keep the shoulders away from the ears. Eyes gaze down and closed. As we breathe in, exhale. Feeling our heartbeat regulate here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're gonna find our bodies in a seated position just for a second. As we come into a bound position, bringing our feet together. Bottoms of our feet are connecting. We are working on opening up our hip flexors here. Yes. So we can be in our bound position, we can be in a butterfly, which is when our feet are closer towards our torso, or we can be in our diamond, which is when our feet are a little further away from our torso. So taking a notice of how each pose feels a little different. So if we have a client who has tight hips, we can maybe start them out in a diamond and then eventually bring them into a butterfly. So hanging out here just for a couple breaths, breathing our palms at heart center, Tummies are nice and tight. Heart chakras open and chin is slightly up. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale. As we connect our hands to our feet, and we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we come deeper into that hip, into that hip flexor. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our feet, just flowing downward. only going down as much as our bodies comfortably allow us to go. But we are working on opening up our hip flexors here. Taking natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, coming back to our bound position, either our diamond or our butterfly. Positioning our bodies to feel nice and comfortable. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We're gonna allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. Noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Exhale back up to cow. Lower back to our diamond or our butterfly. We're gonna take this time to use our hands to bring our legs inward. And we're gonna flow into a boat pose. Legs can be parallel with our palms next to our legs, or we can extend those legs up in the air. Now we are working our core muscles here. 
So noticing how this feels in the body, keeping that back nice and straight, five breaths. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Hanging on to this pose, we're gonna pound our hands from side to side. Pound or not? Yes, yes. Now we're working our obliques. Yes, just going a little bit more deeper within our core, working on our summer body here. Five breaths. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Tummies are tight. Three more breaths. Feeling that burn, two breaths. Keep on flowing, we're almost there. We're gonna do a bonus here. Three more breaths. Two, one. Finding our paws, reaching our hands to our feet. We have our hands inside of our feet as we play with our feet, lifting our feet up and down, just having some fun, showing our feet some love. Tummies tight, our spinal cords are nice and long. Yes, finding our paws as we extend that left leg out towards the sides, pulling that stretch. We are in that boat pose variation. Feeling that stretch behind our legs and our hamstring. Two more breaths. Exhaling that feet inward, extending that right leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch in the hamstrings here behind the thighs. Three breaths. Extending that leg back in. As we breathe that left leg back out towards the side, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, maybe extend that right leg out towards the side. Now we are in that full boat pose variation. Yes, and we can extend it, making a wide-legged V, allowing the legs to fall deeper towards the side if we're able. Going deeper in that stretch. Yes. We can bend our knees also if we need, if it feels best for us in our body. Bending our knees is a nice option. We can also bend, we can also bring our legs inward, closing off that V. Noticing how when we breathe our legs inward, it feels a little different within our core. Whatever feels best for you, four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling those knees inward, coming back into that diamond or that butterfly. Flow into our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our bow position as we use our hands to bring our knees inward and we're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, breathing our knees into our torso, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our torso to completely melt backwards into the earth. Spinal cord is connected to the yoga mat. Eyes are closed, the gaze down as we breathe in. Exhale. Two breaths. Recline spinal twist, left side. Allowing the knees to fall towards the left. Right arm comes out towards the side like a T as we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over our right arm. Feeling our spinal cord relax and smooth here. Eyes are closed. Mind is relaxed. Body is relaxed. If we want to go deeper in this pose, we can extend that right leg out towards the side, going deeper in that stretch. If we choose. Flow in that body into the earth. Completely melting the body here. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale the body back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Exhale, recline spinal twist, opposite side, knees fall to the right. 
Left arm goes out to the side like a T as we are gaze over our left arm or gaze up at the heavens with our shoulder blades melted back into the earth. Spinal cord is relaxing to yoga mat. Eyes are closed, gaze down as our body soothes and relax. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing that body to just go in five breaths. Three more breaths. Straightening out that top leg if you choose. Going a little deeper into that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, hugging knees into chest. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale. Extending those legs up in the air, legs on a wall pose. Legs are up nice and tall with our toes pointing upwards towards the heavens, pointing those toes upwards towards the ceiling. Feeling that stretch. As we reach our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs, we're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Our buttocks come slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling our legs in the air. As we breathe, coming down to our happy baby. Knees come towards the chest. Hands come between the thighs. Connecting the hands to the feet. We are in this happy baby. This also is a hip opener. With our spinal cords completely connected to the earth. You may notice that the earth relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. Especially if we rock our bodies from side to side. Or we can stay still if we choose. We can also bring the leg over our shoulder, coming into a shoulder press. Happy Babies also flows into a pretzel pose. So whatever we do in our Happy Baby, may we freestyle here for six natural breaths. Four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, coming into the legs on the wall pose, pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens. As we breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks comes off the earth, leg to torso stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall, breathing our knees into our chest. As we relax our legs parallel side by side, coming into a Shavasana. Legs are parallel. Our feet are connecting. The sides of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall completely to the side, this allows our legs to completely relax here. Shoulder blades melts off to the earth. Feel in the body get nice and light. Soothe. Inward. Eyes are closed. Bodies relax. As we hang out here in Ashavasana for eight breaths of silent meditation. Mm. 
four more breaths. Two breaths. Keeping our eyes closed if we choose. Maybe come onto our sides, coming into a fetal pose. We're gonna relax in here for four more breaths. Two breaths. As we use our top hand to push our bodies up, coming from that sleeping pose, coming from that fetal position, we're gonna cross our legs. I'm gonna come into a cow face legs. May you find any seat that feels good for you. <sighs> yes, here in our cow face, if we're in our cow face, maybe we can connect our hands to our feet. Simply massaging our feet with our hands, just showing our feet a little love, a little care. Noticing how that feels when we connect our hands and squeeze our toes one at a time. With our tummies tight. Now spinal cord nice and elongated here. Shoulders melted downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe in, exhale. As we find our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and teaching training here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me, please appreciate and respects the light in you all. Namaste. The class discussions are not available for review. Those segments of the class has been edited out for privacy of the attendees. Thank you.